Do you want to know how to use Lambda and have you ever seen this operator right here and you don't know how to use it? Well, stick around because in this quick tip tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can use the Lambda operator to spice and speed up your code. Well, first of all, welcome to tutorial to you. My name is Yannick. And here I got a console application in .NET 7. I got a class called person. Inside here I got two properties, name and age. And then we got our main program here. We got the main method and inside here we got a list of people. Now just imagine the following scenario. I want you to sort this list here by the age of those people. So the correct order should be like descending, Mary, John, Bob, right? Mary's 32 years old, John 25 and Bob 19. So how would you do that? Well, if you are an advanced programmer, you would probably use something like Lambda. But if you are more of a beginner, for example, then you would maybe write those crazy for loops, right? Where you just say, okay, for each person in that list, I'm gonna compare it to other persons in that list and so on and you will end up in writing an entire for loop which is absolutely not necessary because the only thing that we have to write down is we have to say like var sorted um, by age for example however we want to call that variable where we want to store the final result you're going to take that people list we're going to say order by right exactly like this and then we can write down parentheses and write down p we use the lambda operator and say p h now let me explain to you what p is in that scenario because this is exactly where people start failing now p in that scenario is a person and p is each person in that list one single time so at the first iteration p is john at the second iteration p is mary and at the third iteration p is bob now if i hover above p you can see that it's called p and the associated class is person now we could name it differently it does not have to be called p we can also call it x or we can even say person here now we for sure have to adjust that too so what we basically say is take every person in our people list and sort them by age and this is not like bigger or equals no it's a lambda and you can read it like people order by each person by the person's age some people also say goes to for that lambda operator but yeah you just have to understand that person or p or however you want to call that variable is a reference to each entry in your collection one single time just as you would exactly have it with a for loop or for each loop it's an iteration so next time you have to do anything related to filtering start using lambda and don't write any weird for loops or methods just to achieve basic filtering now if you want to learn more about that topic we also have the content written as an article at our website you can find the link in the description below and if you want to become a true .NET hero and land your first job as a developer, check out our c -Sharp Progress Academy. It teaches you full stack web development and a lot more in c -Sharp. It's very affordable and I'm absolutely sure that this is the best way on how you can progress as a c -Sharp developer. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. So thanks again for watching and see you next time.